guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today. I know that I haven't done a lot of videos this week, but I've been working on finishing this binder mail. This is the first binder mail I've put together and I obviously um, like misjudged the size of the binder that I needed. So I knew that the dimensions were like a five by nine, I think it is. Um, but this binder size, I just went with the one inch and clearly could have gone with a much larger size. So this is what it looks like. Can you even see that? Um, yeah, this is what it looks like and how much it's able to close. So like basically not at all. So anyway, um, I am involved in a swap that is a one-on-one -on -one swap. Um, and it is through... Um, Brittany, who is BB Crafts on YouTube, she is an incredible crafter, and I'm just privileged to be in this group with her. And of course, she is my partner. Like, talk about pressure. I've never made one of these before. Um, I hope that I can do hers just, justice. And she actually, when she put the video out there asking for people to join her challenge, she showed what hers looked like. She just, she just kind of gave a sneak peek of the outside of it and a few of the unfinished pages inside, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So, um, like I said, it is a binder mail swap. The theme is summer, and you had to have four pages of four separate embellishments. So, 16 handmade embellishments total. Um, and uh, let me just kind of walk you through what I did. So I used a collection that I had picked up in Arizona at a Tuesday morning, and it is this Just Chill collection. It came with um, a six by six paper pad, this six sheet sticker pad, and then a pack of ephemera. I used up all of the ephemera except for uh, four pieces. Let me just show you what I have left. So I have this tag that is blue and um, lime green. I have just a little white and gold flag here, a acetate piece that says happy on it, and a pink piece that says sun's out. I may go through and add this just to use it up, just to be done with it. Um, as far as paper goes, I did pull a couple sheets from my collection that coordinated with it. So these are not part of the collection. Um, these are not part of the collection. This one wasn't, this wasn't. Okay, so I have this left. I've got this piece left. Um, a couple strips here. These were not part of the collection. That was something else. I have a long strip here. This, just some small pieces here. This was not part of the collection. This was not part of the collection. Oh, one more ephemera piece. This one just says best day. Got that. Some random pieces here. That one, that was not the collection. These two, that was not. This was not. And this was not. So as you can see, I used up the majority of it and I seriously love when that happens. So I was super excited. So I have enough here to maybe make a couple cards or something I think is what I will do with that extra piece because then I do have um, these stickers that I need to use up. I did use up quite a few. I love these um, stickers. I just didn't get a chance to use very many of them. Um, these are random flags, which I think those will be really easy to, easy to use up. Um, used a couple on this page. Oh, it looks like two on this page, three on this page, quite a few on this page, quite a few on this page, and quite a few on that page. So you really don't have that much left. So I feel really happy about what I was able to use. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is I'm going to go the front here, and I'm just going to tr try and hold it up because it's not going to sit solid. Um, so I went kind of with a rainbow pattern. I started with pinks, oranges, yellows, greens, um, some greens, and aquas, and then just aqua or mint green there, and then just some um, uh, lollipop, not lollipop, uh, popsicle paper at the bottom that kind of combines all the colors. I did kind of a monochromatic color on color with each rainbow. So the pink one, I added these uh, two pink flowers that were in the ephemera pack. I sewed on um, four sequins here that were just hot pink. Um, on the orange one, I just put this sun ephemera piece in there. I just tucked it in. So I used these torn, these torn sheet parts as little tuck spots. Um, again, I just sewed sequins on there. 
the yellow, this was a sticker that I had put on um, white cardstock and then cut around it. And I did that just because it was kind of getting lost with the yellow on yellow. Um, the tiny white border around the yellow part just kind of makes it pop out a little bit. Um, then I have the yellow seashells here that are sequins that I glued on. Um, the green, I tucked in a cactus, did the green sequins. I have two little um, mint color leaves down there. I tucked a little leaf in here. Leaf in here. This was a sticker that I also backed on cardstock. Um, I did some blue sequins here. And then I made these flowers um, with a Sizzix die that I had just gotten off of Amazon. Backed it with a couple pieces of ephemera. I did a folded paper technique back here that I sewed across as a little banner. Popped up the word sun. These were stickers. Uh, and this is an ephemera piece here as well. So I love how that turned out. Like I backed it on gold and then backed it on the pink shimmer paper. And this is the Michael's Hot Buy paper um, I just picked up. On the back is yellow mounted on gold. And I just did a little cluster up here and a little cluster down here. This just gives my information, um, my YouTube, Etsy, and Instagram name, and then just clustered some stickers from the collection there. The spine is just gold foil. And I created this um, rainbow charm tassel here. Um, so I did all the colors in these muted bead colors here. And then with each color, I added a um, kind of like an add-on piece. So the pink got a pink heart. The other shade of pink got a pink hibiscus flower. The orange got a orange glass ball. The yellow got a little piece of yellow candy. The green is a little sand pail and shovel. The blue is a little Starbucks um, summer drink. Purple is a little purple heart. Uh, this color, hot pink, is another pink hibiscus flower. And then I kind of have a reddish purplish down here, and then I did another one of the glass beads with the stars inside. Um, this has um, this little piece on it, and I wanted to find a um, keychain with a B on it for Brittany um, that I could attach here, but I just couldn't find anything, so I'm just going to leave that as it is for now. I don't love that that's not... Um, has something dangling from it, but um, she can add something if she'd like. But to attach that, I did use my um, We Are Memory Keepers grommet tool, and I punched a hole in the spine, and I just put this little grommet in there, and then slipped this through. Okay, so I'm going to open it up to the front page. Oh, so along with the handmade embellishments, um, you had to gift two personal type items as well, one in the pocket in the front and one in the pocket in the back. So what I did is I just took this binder clip, added a little pink charm on here, and I um, took my ATG gun and I actually um, put a strip of tape to tape these two face masks together. These are from Target and I just love the, that the colors match and that they are um, fruit themed, so I thought that was perfect for summer. Um, I also got on clearance this little um, paper studio set that is just tropical themed. I think this was 74 cents um, and I had that in my stash so I decided to include that. It's made up a little simple bag topper on the original packaging, added an extra flower that I had, added some crinkled um, crepe paper here and a little sticker from the collection and I just tucked that in here as well. Um, the first page is just this lime green acetate paper. So just have that there. Okay, so I'm trying, like I said, hold this up for you. So the first page, my embellishments, I did the friendship pins. Let's see if I can get you a little bit more center so you can see more of the page. Okay, so I did the friendship pins. I wasn't really sure how to mount these. Um, so I ended up just folding, coordinating paper in half and just making a um, loop. I stapled it together and then uh, hot glued it to the page. And then on each one, then I just added a little piece of like ephemera to finish it off. And so that houses each, um, each friendship pin. I did just do a little cluster over here, pop some things up. Um, 
So here I spelled out Brittany's name. I added uh, clay beads on there, uh, made this little rainbow bead dangle here with a butterfly on it. I have a little, you know, um, florally looking ribbon there. Then these are just all bows um, with Heishi beads on them. And then they all have a pom-pom, like a tool pom-pom and a um, butterfly. So that is the first page and I did five on that page. This page I was just going to decorate, but I ended up using um, this, um, oh, this little trick. I can't remember who came up with it. If I can find the video, I'll link it down below but um, they came up with a way to use these clear sleeves from Target. Uh, they look like this. We all picked them up like in the teaching portion from Target Dollar Spot. Um, I've had them in my collection forever and haven't used them, but you back it on double-sided paper and then you just fold the top over. Um, I added Velcro, I just added some coordinating tool bows that I had made that I had in my collection. Um, those, those were just extra. That wasn't like part of my ephemera that I made. Um, so then I just have two little clusters there. These I made um, little paper strips and I had seen these done. I think, um, I know Janae from Happy Mail Obsessed had made them with ribbon and I think um, uh, Tony or Eric, I can't remember, one of the two made them with the paper. So I decided to make them with the paper. I did try first to make them with the ribbon and I just, I did not like how they looked. So um, I ended up making them with paper. So they're kind of double-sided and um, you clamp it together with this jewelry piece right here. And then I added a jump ring that's got two one or two different charms on it, and then a um, little lobster clasp. These, I wasn't really sure how to mount as well, so they just each have a tiny little dot of hot glue on the back. Oh, let me show you guys all of them, there you go. So they each have a tiny little dot of hot glue on the back, and that seems to be holding them in place. So this one is just some layered Heishi beads. We've got, you know, a little sun word there. We've got a um, hibiscus flower. We've got a little pink swirl there with a lemon clay bead. Got a little pink floral here with an apple. And then this is my very last charm from Walmart Christmas where I picked up these little balloon animals, which I absolutely loved. Okay. So I added a little pom-pom trim here. The next page, um, I did some candy shakers. So they look like that. Um, the the set that I bought came with um, four different kinds. So you can see the different sizes. So there's a large um, oval uh, rectangle-ish shape and then a small one and then two circles, a larger and a smaller. Um, the circle also did come with like the stripes to make it look like a like a mint candy, but I didn't like how that looked. So, um, so I have five of those. This I thought was really cute. I took some acetate and I made a box just kind of by um, by hand. So you can see the dimension on it here. I kind of took apart an envelope to just kind of see how I would do it. Um, so I think it turned out really well. So I wanted it to house all of these flowers in here. Um, so I ended up, before I glued it together, I ended up doing a zigzag stitch all around it and then folded it together to make it. Um, if you guys are interested interested in seeing how I did this, I certainly can do a tutorial. Um, I don't have dimensions or anything. I just kind of, like I said, um, put it together and just kind of, I don't know, I don't measure anything, but you know, I probably could come up with something, but these just have the, all these handmade flowers in there um, that I layered up. Then I took this doily and I cut a doily out of this paper and it seemed to fit right very, you know, perfectly across the top. So I did that. I layered, you know, a little sentiment on there, a little gold um, flower here and a sticker from the collection. I think this has like eight of them in. They got kind of shuffled. Um, oh, I have sequins in there as well. So I did put sequins in the back before gluing it shut. So if you take all these out, you'll be able to see do that if I can show you. You'll see the sequins in the back. Yeah, so you can kind of see that it's a shaker back here as well. So I love how that turned out. This was like one of my 
favorite things in the entire book, um, but it also is one of the thickest things and one of the major problems of my not making it uh, or not buying the spine large enough. So um, those all fit in there. Okay, this page is another one I was just going to decorate, but I ended up putting a um, little pocket on here, a little adhesive pocket made again, just some clusters with uh, leftover flour popped up some ephemera pieces. This has a little piece of trim in it that's made with sequins and the sequins are all in um, bright summer cl colors that actually match this paper perfectly. So um, that, that one. This here is just a kind of a fun page. So I just took a um, page protector that I had for a little, um, I think it's a six by six album maybe. Um, and it's got three pockets. It's got two smaller pockets on the top and the four by six on the bottom. Um, I just added this trim here that I ruffled myself and sewed with the sewing machine. I have these Hildy and Joe charms that go perfectly with this book. I just kind of covered the back like that, just taped it on the back, just so when you flip the page, you can see that it is nicely finished and you're not just looking at the back of the cardboard. Those fit in there nice. Then the pocket next to it, I made into a shaker pocket and I was able to use one of the acetate pieces. Um, this says vacation right there. Then I have a bunch of the seashell sequins here inside there with it. I think you're kind of getting a glare. Let me see if I can lift it up. There you go. Um, in the bottom, I just decorated like a four by six card and added another flower. Then I did just kind of, like I said, finished off the back so it looked okay. This back pocket, I picked up some cup koozies from Target. Um, I think I picked up four or five different ones, um, but I'm going to gift her this one. I also have these little coasters that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. I tied those on there and then just kind of looped it on the coaster hook there. And that fits in here. And then it's just finished with a some paper that's sewn together here that I glued down and then... Um, a piece of candy that has a shaker inside of it. So that is the book. And this is how much I can close it. Like, not at all. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, so lesson learned there. But I love how it turned out. Um, then I just have some goodies I'm sending along extra with it. Um, she loves the color pink. So I just found these um, pink socks at Dollar Tree. They say mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. Oh, wow. I just made a little bag topper with it, or covered it, covered the topper that was on it with a homemade bag topper. Um, just took some leaves and some sentiments and just kind of layered that up on there. So I'll put that in the box with it. I had gotten this flamingo tape dispenser that we've all seen at Dollar Tree. My thought was to actually take the scotch tape out. And Brittany, if you're watching this, um, you know, you certainly could do this. But so I was going to take the scotch tape out and then I, well, it is kind of loose in there. Well, no, it's tighter when you put this on it. So my thought was to replace this with some washi tape. Um, the washi tape that I was going to use, now this one would fit perfect, but it, I don't love it as much. It kind of matches, but... So, you know, you feel free to put a piece of washi tape in there. And I thought that would be cute to have on your desk um, where you could just put washi on it and um, have it available to seal up packages and things like that. So, Brittany, feel free to do that if you have a need for something like that. But I just loved the flamingo theme of it. So that's why this is being included. Um, put it back together. Okay. And then what I did to kind of decorate this box. I just made a belly band for it out of some extra paper. I added some uh, pink trim that I had that was in the shape of flowers. And then I added some stickers to it. And that slides just right on there, just giving it a little extra decoration. So I have that as well. Um, I have a little decorated bag here. It's got little cacti on it. Like that's so cute. I've had these bags for a while. They were from Valentine's Day a couple years ago. 
Um, and inside of it, I just have a paper, a little notebook that is from Dollar Tree. They had a couple different um, fruits to choose from, but I loved the watermelon. I think it matches perfectly. So I have just that slid in here. And like I said, I just decorated the bottom. And then last but not least, I have this adorable flamingo pen that is my absolute favorite. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's so cute. It's got like this leather top on it and then the fuzziest fuzzball ever here. So I'm ready to package this up and get it off to her in the mail. And um, oh, one more thing I want to show you. So I did create a little card. I'm just kind of decorated the envelope. But if you watch my hauls, you know that I hauled these um, flat pieces and I'm making them into like postcards. So I just put a stamp of my information there and then I can write the sentiment on the top and then I've been decorating the front. So here I just took some scraps and I sewed them all on and I love how this turned out. Then I took the word summer, which actually was in the paper pad, a little gold pineapple and I attached all those on there. But I just love the, the stitching on there. I think it adds so much to the card. So that is that. That is everything. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you in my next crafty video. Bye.